You're tuned into Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodine Dorsey, and we are on the Soul Cruise. We are getting back from Cuba, and I am sitting here with Rasan Patterson, one of my favorites. Hello. Hello, Rasan. How are you? How's I'm it feel? Good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling privileged to have been afforded the opportunity to be on this cruise to go to Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, I always am grateful to be invited to perform at Capital Jazz yeah. Festival or the cruise. Mm -hmm. This one just was exceptionally inviting mm. because of where we were going, right. which was Cuba. And, and, and you went, This is this your first time in Cuba? First time. This is my first time in Cuba. First what, did, time. what did you think? What were some of the highlights for you? The highlights for me were initially walking out of the port into Havana mm -hmm. and seeing the American cars against the backdrop of the architecture and, yeah. and the housing and the buildings yeah. was absolutely stunning. And all I kept thinking at first was to shoot here would be unbelievable. <laughs> like to do a photo shoot or make a video would be unreal. Yeah. Um, and then of course it was being able to uh, take the tour in one of the old convertible cars and uh, be shown all the monuments and gain a bit of history mm -hmm. about the country. And um, the tour guide that we had was really awesome. Mm -hmm. Young guy, mm -hmm. you know, hip. Um, so much hipness in that. So much so hipness. Like, much you don't necessarily hipness. expect to see that. Exactly. But, you know, it was it was very heartwarming to just feel at home, oh. you know, yeah. to just feel a warmth of spirit, mm -hmm. you know, um, the heart of the people, the spirit of the people, the yeah. food the conditions don't necessarily uh, compare to how, what, how we're used to living. Right. Right. Um, however, their spirit and their heart and their home, like that's where they are, that's where they're from. And it's a, it's a pride. It's a pride and yeah. it's, it's absolutely beautiful to see. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love about traveling to different countries and being able mm -hmm. to experience different cultures and the people Right. on their land you know you can read stuff in books but it's a different thing to actually touch the soil to eat the food to digest the food to mm. converse with the people to breathe really to yeah. breathe the air yeah. to feel their water you know what i mean to drink it if you can right. <laughs> right. um it was absolutely beautiful it was beautiful. You know, what's funny is I was talking to Tomasito. Remember, did you see Tomasito yes, at all? Was, he um, was the performer. The first day. Yes. Right. He's from Cuba. And um, he shared with me something interesting. And I, I know you'd find this interesting as well. He said, you, you're you getting ready to experience Cuba. And I know you're so excited, Jody. And he's like, I know you're excited. But this is the first time there's going to be a ship mm -hmm. porting and all Cubans are going to see are people that look like them getting off of that ship. He told me that, Rasan, and I promise you, it tears. resonated, yeah. He tears. said a similar thing at the um, gathering that the artists had, Avery and Kenny and Eric and some of the musicians on the boat and myself participated in, just in conversing with one another and affirming each other's gifts and lifting each other up. But he spoke at the end and one of the things he said was basically that he said when you go into the city just remember that these people are looking for connection you know and when he said that i was like wow because we had been in santiago and when you first get to santiago um you know you experience the people selling and wanting to get right. the money and stuff. Right. So right. the hustles. Know, the hustle. So when right. you come from America, instantly you're like, okay, they're getting their hustle on, you gotta respect that. However, and you have an understanding of why the hustle is so strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it wasn't until he said that by the time we got to Havana that it really penetrated. Cause mm -hmm. it was like 
because the hustle is the first thing on your mind, you're missing that they're actually just... They just want to hold yeah. you. They just want to touch you. They're yeah. like, what? Yeah. What? So to be able to get to Havana and go into the markets and interact with, you know, certain cats that would just come up and start talking and just feeling the love and the humanity and the blackness. It was yeah. just wonderful. It was it was everything. It was everything. And I, yeah, I, I, I ditto to everything Rasan just said, because mm -hmm. it was, it was, it was, de it was definitely a life, for me, a life changing yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, a life changing moment. But outside of Cuba and just the excitement of this soul cruise that you just experienced. <laughs> Back to while we're Rassan. here. <laughs> oh. Rassan, are, so word on the street is, even though he just told me, word on the street is you have an album dropping in 2017. I do. Yes. I do. And uh, it's called Heroes and Gods. Mm. And it is just a continuation of where my previous albums left off and what they have evolved to. Mm -hmm. Um there are a couple of collaborative efforts that will be on there. One with um, Rochelle Farrell and Joy Gilliam. Yes. We all wrote a song together. Um, Joy is singing background on it with me. Uh, Rochelle just wrote, which was awesome enough. Yeah. And uh, another track with Trina mm -hmm. Broussard and Latoya Williams. They're both singing on it, and then they wrote it with me too. Yes. Um, a, a lot of Atlanta on this album. Well, Joy doesn't live in Atlanta anymore. Anymore, but, but yeah, but she yes, spent a lots large of ATL amount of time. Yes, yes, a lot of ATL on the record. <laughs> yeah, um, I do shows there often. Trina lives there; right. she loves it there. So right. when I go, you know, I do have a uh, root there mm -hmm. with friends and mm -hmm. friends that are family, basically. Um, but yeah, the record is coming out this year. There will be a first single within the next few months. Perfect. 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 Because I have been waiting for, for, some, for some new material from you. Um, in between the last album to now, what have you been up to? It has been, well, it will be six years in between since the last album mm -hmm. and when this one comes. Um, I've been living life i've been um being creative okay. always that okay. uh taking pictures photographs of people do i do i smell a photography absolutely absolutely photography yes. director mm -hmm. filmmaking thing that's happening nice yeah it's nice. wonderful and um i also in 2015, went back into musical theater. Hadn't done that since I was a kid. And it was nice to get my feet wet again and tackle that as an adult. Okay. It's very different. Is it still, the, is it the music, is it the, is it a production that's out right now? No, like, it, was is it, a, it was a production that I did in 2015 in LA. Uh -huh. It um, was had a run for about three months. And then the following year, um, it got rebooted with, new producers okay. you know with the hopes of taking it to broadway so i didn't take part in that one at all uh, i was making my album okay. at the time and um it was wonderful so nice. yeah i've been around being creative and the thing about social media too i meant to mention earlier when we were uh -huh. talking is that even when you're away now from the scene social mm -hmm. media gives people access to you daily absolutely you know absolutely. so really you know, social media helps in that one doesn't necessarily have to fear that people will forget them. Right. Because they don't have product out because you yourself now are right. a product and people can just go to your page and have access to you and see your thoughts and see what you're posting. So Right, yeah. right, right. People still being introduced to you too. Yes, even exactly. On the ship. Exactly. Yes, which is wonderful. That's which is crazy wonderful. to me. I'm like, do y'all know this is Masaa Patterson? <laughs> right. It's it's always nice uh, to garner new supporters. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting the amount of people who don't know. And I never really expect them to know. Usually, I anticipate that people won't know. Just because 
that's the way it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the way that's the way it is. You know, there are people who are much more familiar with acts that have more notoriety, that are more right. successful on charts and on the radio and stuff. And not that I haven't had su- those successes over my career, but mm-hmm. I just don't take for granted that I walk out on the stage and everybody's going to know who I am. Of course, people who buy tickets, right. you know, right. and, and know that I come to their cities, they're going to be there, which is very nice. But I don't take it for granted at all. And I don't expect that people are going to just know. Right. So it's always nice to meet people after a show and they say wow i didn't know who you are i'm just discovering you today and that was very good show and then da, 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 and your voice and then it's like thank you very much appreciate that now right. the record is over there and it's twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> pick up a cd right. yeah. pick, a, pick yeah. up a cd and support and then you got those that are just like die hard with yeah. patterson cult followers which is which is which wonderful is, yeah it's which gotta feel wonder- good no yeah it is it's um it's really a blessing yeah. You know, uh, to know that you're impacting lives, you're altering spirits. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you're shifting people's consciousness and awareness, and the power of that in song and voice is art. You know, it's 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 really something. So I've, to be able to have the access to do that right. is a privilege and an honor. Right. You know? Did you know that that's what music was going to do for you personally and for your career? Did you know that well, you were I stepping knew, into this? I knew as a kid, before I became professional, mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, at 10, what I knew was that music was saving my life every day. Right. You know? So. Right. It wasn't until 12 years old when I understood, oh wow, I can make a career of this. <laughs> and then probably about 18 is when I, <clears throat> excuse me, mm-hmm. 18 was when I started to write songs for my first album and other people at the time. And that's when I discovered the intimacy and vulnerable aspects of mm. being a l- songwriter. Mm-hmm and a lyricist and Mm -hmm. a solo artist in that my approach was that it wasn't about making up songs it was sharing your life and your most intimate Mm. thoughts and with that comes a vulnerability that is really unmatched in a way Hmm. Hmm. because it's out there for the world to critique like it's one thing to be vulnerable one on one with someone right and intimate, you know, that can be scary all by itself, but Gosh. you multiply that by the world. Right. When you hit when you hit release. Exactly. And when they press play. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> when they press play, it's a lot yeah. that goes along with that. Yeah. 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 Are you nervous? Are you any any butterflies? I'm excited. About the release? I'm excited. I'm I'm actually more excited than I've ever been of any album. Which is very interesting. Wow. Um, the first one is always like, oh, it's the first one. Right, So right, that, right. it kind of comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. But this one, I'm more excited because I'm continuing to grow as an artist and as a producer and as a musician and challenging myself and stepping out further mm. in all of those areas, you know. Um, and and maybe it's because it may be one of the last ones for a while for a while I'm gonna leave it right there (laughs) (laughs) because this may have to continue as an offline conversation (laughs) But I'm gonna leave it right there, Rasan. How do we keep in contact with you? Um, Instagram, Rasan Patterson, R A H S A A N P A T T E R S O N, and uh, Facebook, Rasan Patterson Music, and of course I have a personal page that's open to the public. Um, and then my website, Rasan.com. Rasan.com. Yes. So Rasan.com, Instagram, Facebook. 
and your new album's coming out in 2017. 2017. No dates around it yet. No dates set specifically yet, but there will be a single within the next few months. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we've got to stay tuned for that, and then we've got to figure out what happens (laughs) after this album. (laughs) Cliffhanger continues here on the Capital Jazz Soul Cruise. Rasan, thank you so much for feeding our soul and just allowing your your voice to take us to Cuba. We appreciate you for that. Definitely. This is Rasan Patterson. I'm Jodine Dresse, your host on Capital Jazz TV. We are on the Soul Cruise.